Is your business registered with the Seychelles Revenue Commission? If yes, the Seychelles Revenue Commission is seeking your support to update its upcoming tax management system by encouraging you to share your latest information with the organization. To facilitate this process, SRC will soon be circulating an email holding three different data verification forms in yellow color for sole trader, green for partnership, and blue for company to businesses already registered with the organization. Upon receipt of the email and closed with the data verification form, taxpayers are advised to amend, correct, and complete any missing information relevant to their business category. All the mandatory fields denoted by an asterisk symbol must not be disregarded and all information shared must be true and accurate. For businesses operating as an individual or sole trader, under Section 1, please ensure to complete or verify your personal details. If you are a Seychellois or a foreigner, having a GOP or a National Identification Number NIN, please provide the NIN in the field specified for NIN or passport. Do not share the issue and expiry dates requested as these refer to a passport. If you are a foreigner not having a Seychelles NIN, your passport number, issue date and expiry date must be provided. For businesses operating as a partnership, details to be provided under this section include your registered name and any other name being used as your marketing name, the registration number issued by the Registrar General, the registration and commencement date of your business, your valid business contact number, email address, and in case your business is registered with the Seychelles Pension Fund, indicate the pension fund number. Please add only one telephone number and one email address per field. In Section 2, state the detailed address of your business or partnership. For example, in the case of Tim, a sole trader who works as a mechanic at Kreutger on Mahé, for this section of the form, Tim will need to enter Kreutger next to the street name, Nouvelle Valley next to sub-district, Beauvalon next to district, followed by the name of the workshop or the building name where the workshop is based, including the island where the business is based. Under Section 3, if your registered address is different to your postal address, please share details of your postal address of which you would like SRC to post your mails to. If your registered address and postal address are similar, please write the same address in both areas, including details of the country, town, and PO box. Upon reaching Section 4, for individuals, businesses add your registered business or trading name, registration and commencement date of your business, define the type of business activity that your business relates to, and your estimated turnover and taxable income. If as a sole trader, individual or partnership you are operating only one business, please complete only one row under Section 4. However, if you have more than one business activity, details of the other business activity and its location or branches must be mentioned in the following rows under the same section. For example, in row 1 under section 4, Tim will have to list details of his mechanic workshop and in the second row, Tim can list details relating to his spare part shop which is his second business as an individual or sole trader. As the form makes provision for only three other business activities, if you have more than three business activities, do not complete Section 1. To define your other business activities, please complete as many additional forms as needed and only indicate your TIN on the additional forms. For Section 5, individuals should use this space to simply state whether their business has shares in any other businesses. If the business is a partnership, this space must be used to provide 1. Details of your resident partner managing the business who must be a person having residency in the Seychelles holding a national identification number. 2. Details of any other partners involved in the business as the form makes provision for only 3 partners. If you have more than 3 partners, please complete as many additional forms as needed. On the additional forms, do not complete Section 1, only indicate your TIN and the details of the partners. And 3. The number of shares that the business has in other entities. After having inserted this information, proceed with indicating your applicable tax accounting period for your business. This is whether it's from January to December or on an other starting and ending date. 
ensure to provide your correct business banking information under Section 7 for individuals and Section 9 for partnership. This will simplify the refund process in cases where a tax refund is applicable. If you have a designated tax agent or an authorized representative handling your taxes, state the correct information under Section 8 for individuals and under Section 10 for partnership. For domestic companies, information relating to the public officer must be completed, whilst for companies, information of authorized representative must be provided. Under Section 10 and Section 12, respectively, simply tick Yes where applicable and provide the necessary additional information. Follow suit. Should you wish to receive electronic notifications from SRC, put a tick in the box. Once you have updated, verified, and certified the accuracy of the information inserted on the form, please email the completed data verification form at the earliest to registry at src.gov.sc. SRC thanks you for your involvement in its data verification exercise and assures you that all information shared shall be treated with utmost confidence.